Hello everybody and welcome back to my vlog channel. Uh, now this is a little quickie, I want to show you a couple of things when it comes to this, um, these boards. Now this is, I, I've been calling them genuine, um, the Highland stuff, but it's, as you can see now by one of the links I've put in, it's not actually genuine, but they are one of the retailers, manufacturers actually produce these boards and they work. This is one of those boards. Now, normally, when you connect up your meter, you wouldn't connect it to the output. And the reason why you wouldn't connect it directly to the output, because it has to be powered on by something. It has the separate power on, and then it's got a sense wire. And the sense wire is to detect what voltage is actually needs to be displayed on the screen. And so you need a separate power supply for the... Um, power to actually power this up itself yeah so you can actually give this some power itself and you've got to give it the sense wire so it knows what to display on the screen right well on these boards here generally you could if you wanted to I did on my build and it worked very well thank you uh, you connect it up to the 24 volts coming up now you can change these regulators out you can put a 12 volt regulator in there if you want to and you'll have 12 volts coming down here but these can go up to 28 volts, so I'm going to use a 28, 24 volt regulator that came with it. Uh, so to keep in mind, if you were to use a 12 volt regulator, and consider it like this, if you're using 24 volts and you're just you're pulling half an amp, you don't, the, with a linear regulator, whatever voltage is not being used, let's say uh, you're pulling 24 volts in, you're using a 12 volt regulator, and you're pulling half an amp. So that means it's got... Uh, 12 volts difference between the input and the output and that means it's going to dissipate the heat because whatever current you're pulling through you've got to times that so the half amp by the 12 volt difference on these would be 6 watts so it's got to dissipate 6 watts of heat all right that's something to keep in mind right uh, so and what you'd normally get when you power up which I'm about to now is what you should be able to see on the oscilloscope. This is set for 10 volts per division and it's um, in DC mode. So click that down and you can see it shot straight up 10, 20, and that would be uh, 24 volts. And you can see there, 24 volts, bang on. Beautiful, nice, clean line. And that's what you expect to see. And that means that I'll power that quite nicely. I've actually got this twiddled to five volts. Yeah, so that's, you know, that's about there, that'll do. Um, and that's what you should expect to see. Now, when it comes to this board that I've just bought, and yes, it does work, not a problem with it. But, well, I said not a problem, because here's the but. Um, we do have a small issue, and that is when you try to connect to the fan here, there's a lot of noise. And I'm going to show you that, so just bear with me. I'll do a jump cut on this, so we can just save time. Um, this is just a, like a little thing in the middle of the jump cut just so you know yeah so if you're connecting this you'd have your red and black and that will connect to an external or a separate power supply because if this goes below 5 volts it just switches off so if you were trying to uh, do a 3.3 volt or whatever voltage below 5 volts you're not going to get any power to the, this you won't be able to see whether it's 5 volts or below that's why you're going to have this separate supply so your yellow wire then will go on to the positive output and this black wire this is the current sense so what you'd have is your load whatever device you're having connected would come out of the positive and on this case it's this resistor come back through the red into this the positive into the current detect and then come back out through this ground and the ground also gives the ground for this to work if you don't put the ground in and you're just trying to sense it it's not going to work you won't see your uh, voltage on there so you got to make sure you have this ground in then the sense on there and you can actually see what the voltage is across there not all of these are the same i'm just going to let you know now this is the one with the two little twiddlies in there for the voltage and the current and it's got two ic's in there and it also has the four digits up top four digits down the bottom not all of them like that you might have to connect it up slightly different for different ones but for this particular one that's how you connect that up all right back to the jump cut. what i've done is i've just connected this up um, as it was connected on the other one and 
I've left this because we're not trying to sense the current here, we don't need to. But the, the issue is going to be seen straight away as soon as I put down the power. So I'll put that on the power. And as you can see over there, our nice DC is not nice DC anymore. This is awful. And if we look here, uh, we can see that it says 5.6 amps and it's at 12.3 volts. Now, if I just turn this up a little tiny bit, we can clear that. So that says it's 8.2 volts and 0 amps, but that is uh, that's a no-go. And even though it's cleared what well, seems to clear the issue there, we've still got this horrible DC here. So what do we do about that? That's not acceptable, because we've got to be able to run this down to the lower limits, otherwise... Uh, you know, you can only do things above like, you know, six or seven volts. So that's no good. So I'm going to start just playing around with it. And I figured that, you know, we can clear up most of it and get rid of that issue just by sticking a little capacitor across. Um, I don't really like the idea of this because now, in some respects, uh, I've got to look at the setup of that voltage regulator. Just because if you put a capacitor across, that means there's charge stored in there. And that, if it would get a short circuit here, it means that um, that charge could go back into the voltage regulator and kill the voltage regulator. Now, normally you'd stick this thing on a little diode on in order to give a path back to the input. So you can just go round, 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 you know, just kill it itself off any, any charge that needs to be discharged by short circuit. But if I just put this on here, and you're going to have to do it. Um, polarity wise of course so if I put this on here like this you can see that even though just using this it's only 220 microfarad oh let me get that clamped there a bit of a pickle it seemed easier last night but then I wasn't trying to do it on the camera last night um, just turn that round so I can hook these both in together so if I clamp that like that, okay, so we've got that on there, and I put that back down again. You can see that this, even though it's not a lovely DC line, it's a lot cleaner than what it was. And here at 8 volts, if I just bend that up a bit, so you can see that. If I start turning this down, uh, that's going the wrong way. I start turning it down, you can see that we can go all the way down, and we don't get that issue. But straight out of the box, that is something that if you did buy one of these, um, you're going to have to resolve. Now, I might end up swapping this out, find it, see if I can put a tantalum in there, just because it's not going to hold that amount of juice in there. But Or it's going to be a case of sticking the diode on, like I say, and I'll, I'll get my head around that over the next few days. I've ordered another one of these boards because I want to do a contrast and compare. I'll do a contrast and compare with one of these boards because they seem very similar. And when I look at the other side, I'm not going to do it now because it's all connected. Um, I can see, not the difference here, I want to be able to grow over them without any population on the board. And also, then I can, I'm trying to find the genuine Highland so I can contrast and compare this board with that as well and see why this hasn't got the filtering on the output. It could be the uh, regulator. I will take the regulator out and I'll try a different regulator. 15 minutes, no. Uh, minus the jump cuts, so it'll be less than that. And I'll try a different regulator, and I'll let you know. Um, again, for connecting it, it's all the same way as I said earlier. If you want to know how to connect a meter up, because you're going to want to connect a meter up with one of these boards, you get it working, because you're going to want to see what your voltage is and what your, your current drawer is. And then we can start talking about transformers. And when we do another one on this, I'll talk to you about the transformer, how it affects the board, and um, the differences between like this transformer and one that I think will work much better with this board. If you got this far, thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful for any of you that may be interested in buying this and you get it and you think that you can't wire up. There you go, there's the pattern to wire one of these up. And also, if you get that issue, you know you can drop a little capacitor across there and it will sort it out, but it's not the end of the issue because it could cause a problem in itself. All right. Catch you in the next one, guys.